Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. It is currently midnight on a Saturday and I haven't been able to stop thinking about this game. So we're going to start this trial right now. Is this a great idea? I don't know, but I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. Um, we're ready to go. You'll have to excuse me if there's any like graphical weirdness. I changed some of the settings on my um, capture software in order to try and get a better quality picture and I think I may have screwed up the sizing so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Also I noticed that during editing I think I had one of these that like wasn't equipped that I bought. Yeah this one. I didn't equip this like a fool and all of you are probably yelling at me about it on Sunday's episode but I haven't seen it yet. Joke's on you. So we're going. Um yeah I don't really have much else to say. Let's do it. I'm ready. There's like some things that I feel like I know what's gonna happen, and then there's some pieces of evidence that I like definitely don't know how they fit in yet, so we're just now gonna have then. to see. Let's begin but I feel like it's always like that, so I'm not trial. super torn up about it. Sorry, I won't talk over During you. the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish Every everyone besides the blackened. blackened and that, that person will graduate, graduate from this academy. All right. Also, yeah, refusing yeah, yeah. to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, smiles, everyone. It's showtime. So this is what makes Let's me think we're being recorded again. Awesome trial underway. He's kind of dropped a few hints. All right, let's go. Sorry, everyone. I don't think okay, I'm gonna leave Kaito. myself this Thank time. Thank you. Thanks, Kaito. Shh. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, Savage. I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman. Damn, Savage. Everyone's just coming out with the insults. Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. No, no. Nobody does. It's fine. What's up, Himiko? You got something to say? Who did it? Oh, she's mad. Like I said, I predict Himiko's gonna go a little bit off the rails in this chapter because we've lost two people that were very close to her. Who killed Angie and Tango? Oh, yeah, she's mad. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Okay, shush. We're not even going to entertain that idea. Hmm? What do you mean? Okay, here we go. This is... The transfer student. Okay, first of all, stop being creepy. Second of all, I figured this was where we were going to go first, and I know how to disprove this. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Stop yeah, I was gonna it. say, stop making stuff up. Kaito's gonna freak out. Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Oh, look, Angie's got little wings and a little halo. I like that. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? No, it's not, and I'll tell you why. Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. All right, let's go. I'm ready. All right, it's gonna be the book, I believe. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. Uh, well, I skipped that. came back to life and killed no, two of no, no, our no. I love zombies. Oh! oh, thanks, Kaido. Oh God. So, ritual did work. Okay, so did work is a possible. Oh, that's really nice that it shows it. I wonder. No one. Angie did say she was gonna bring Rantaro back. Okay, that's technically. Yes. Rantaro was resurrected. I'm not sure if the I'm. The culprit is the late Rantaro Amami. No. Please stop it. She, she say something, says Maki. Okay, I'm just not. In, I'm just not sure whether which statement I'm contradicting here. This isn't about believing and reviving the dead. I have to focus. Were all those statements correct? I mean, no. This let me let me see it again. This was committed by the recently deceased. Okay, no, they came no, no, back I to life care. and killed two of our classmates. No! 
So ritual did work? I don't think I'm saying it didn't work. I Who think I'm going I with this one. Angie did say she was gonna bring red. Shoot. Okay, uh, I gotta remember which Rotaro button is the silencer. This one, okay. The culprit is the late how do I, how do I skip? Nope, how do I skip forward? Please, nope. stop it! I like this, okay. Okay, I'm not 100% sure that this is correct. It might be the other one. But I'm gonna try it on this one first, because I don't think I'm saying it didn't work. And he did say she was gonna Ah, dang it, they got in the way. Wrong button. Oh god, Rantaro I'm forgetting what the buttons are once the again. Is the late I mommy. am such a failure. Okay. Wait, is it this? Nope, that's the actual push it. I keep hitting this crime was committed. X. Well, actually, it's, this is the silencer. No! Okay. We go a little faster here. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta. Hey, she was gonna bring Rantaro back. Nope. Okay, it's the other one. It's the other one. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. It's the other one. It's crime. Okay. Okay, so it's this then. Okay, nope, sorry. So Okay, I don't think that a hundred percent contradicts because I'm just saying it didn't happen. As in no one was brought I don't back. Think Angie's ritual succeeded. According to the Necronomicon, Monokuma showed us. Okay, it can't succeed if it wasn't fully. Like, uh, whatever. That's you just semantics. I'm sorry. In the ritual. I'm just saying it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete since the book was still intact. Okay, I guess technically she did start the ritual by making the effigies, so fine, I'll give it to you. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Yes, I agree. Oh, I guess you're yes, right. Yes, sit down, thank you. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let what? that comment stand. What do you have to add? Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate okay. Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. Okay, yeah, cool, whatever, but it didn't happen. What are you talking about? <laughs> Stop. There's no way that's possible. This poor man. But it's true. I never lie about motives. <laughs> Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. Isn't he still alive? Monodum is still yeah. alive, though. I was like, wrong one, boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you're... I wouldn't waste a resurrection on Monodum's corpse. Boy, you're gonna be next. You better watch watch him back. He's right here. Oh, so resurrecting okay. the dead was actually possible this whole time? There's no way it's possible! Okay, it doesn't matter, guys. There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma Thank you. is trying to confuse us. Thank you. Let's hurry up and find out who the black bless. is. Bless. Bless. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? Okay, start asking que better questions. Step aside, half pint. I'll handle this. Oh god. Oh god, no. I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. Why? What? Why? Don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. Okay, I'm listening. At least this will get us somewhere. What's up, girl? What you got? Oh god, okay, we got a lot of things. All the right. culprit used a katana to kill Angie. Okay. 
Maybe. And it was found in Keo's oh, research was that lab. Wrong? Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. Rusty. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. I like how that looked like a worm. Broke in. Okay, yeah, you can't. And murdered the fuck out of Angie. Okay, wait. Uh, I need to check and see what exactly these say. Um, I feel like it's that, but I'm not sure which door. I'm gonna assume it's this one. Well, maybe not. Oh yeah! I'm a fucking genius! Oh god, shut up. Okay. Think about it from the beginning. Hang on, what does the katana say exactly? Anyone could have entered. Okay, I, I think I think we're going for the lock. The copper used maybe? a katana to kill Ange. And it was found in Chia's research Okay, because that's true. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. Rusty. You were the only I don't like that he said that. that. Thing, I did not care. care about some katana. That's probably true. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. Okay, here it comes. You went to the classroom. Why? <laughs> nope, that's not it. Okay. No. He wasn't on the student council. Uh. What? What did the that have to do with anything? To kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research uh. lab. Was that supposed to be giving me a hint? Am I supposed to be using Samugi's account to say that she wouldn't have opened the door for him? Which makes you, uh, Keo, automatically uh, suspicious. What? But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Based on what she said when I got it wrong. Shit eating worm. Okay. You went to the classroom, broke in. No, what? What? Murdered that What? Fuck it happened there. Um. Whoops. I don't know what just happened. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. Blah, 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 blah. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shitty worm. Okay. Here we go. Classroom, bro. Okay. Okay, that's what we're going with. Sure. That doesn't necessarily contradict broke in. Does it? What are you going no, for here? Keo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Okay, I think the lock was a better answer. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Personally, but if you're saying broke yeah. in. Before Angie locked herself up. Sorry. In the research These games lab. are games of semantics. I'm gonna argue my point. She said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. Yeah, but Miu didn't say he just walked in. Miu said he broke in. And Keo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Keo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? No, not necessarily, because there was one among us who could actually break in. Uh, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. I've been watching too much of uh, Lugajin play 999 lately, and uh, now I can't unhear Clover. Oh, how clever. Oh, shut up. You can just ignore her, Gonta. Yes, that's what I do. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. I trust their friendship. Ugh. You guys do too, right? No. Honestly. Yeah, of course. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. Please, Kokichi, don't. 
That trims our list of suspects. Really? We're just gonna Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Okay, or we could just leave Himiko on the list if we're not gonna be yeah, dumb. Yeah. The culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of those two people? Because a robot ain't people, Jack. I will let that remark slide. Oh. Anyway, from her? Aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi? Well. No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me, too. Gonta definitely okay, not hurt we're gonna anyone. Do a panic. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. Okay, let's all Gonta yell at each Gonta other. Not the culprit. All right, time to yell. Let's go. All right, what do we got? And I also, I have that new skill that affects these, so maybe that's gonna help me. Oh my god, still so many. Okay. We must consider other okay. possibilities. Okay. All right, cool. Surely there must be suspects in the Oh god. Uh, that's utterly impossible. A dead chick can't be the culprit. Okay. I haven't seen Only anything to contradict you. Only student. Nope, that's all right. That's it. That's it. I didn't know robots killed such boring lies. Okay. Me. Is that a robophobic remark? Okay, that is really nice that it kind of shuts that off automatically. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I got this. That's utterly impossible. Okay. Not just anyone can Okay, here it comes. Only student council members. There we go. I heard it. Kokichi, don't throw yourself under the bus, boy. I saw you. No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? Yeah, well... I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Hell yeah. Get him. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Where did he even get those again? We don't know. Or maybe we do and I just don't remember, but I guess it's not really important. Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? Honestly, if you just kept quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. Did did what? I killed Angie. Listen, we've been down this road before with a certain other uh, character, and... Hmm. Wait, what? What did you just say? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham, killed Angie. The culprit was me, all along. Cool, I don't believe you. Anyway. What? What, what are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. Yeah, okay. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? No. No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's definitely lying. He's lying. I'm certain <laughs> of it. It's not that easy. It never is. No, no. Definitely no, no. not a lie. I killed Angie. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Not when it's you. Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Shuichi is done with your shit, which is great. 
Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. That door? They used a different method. On the front door? What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. Why do I have to stand next to you? Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was. The door the culprit locked last to seal the room. I'm guessing you want me to say back door? That's it. I'm not sure how we can know that. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock, yes. How was it locked from the outside? It wasn't. The culprit used a certain tool. The tool the culprit used to lock the sliding lock from outside. Oh god, it's the katana. How do I do this one again? Oh, like this, that's right. Okay, there's nothing over here. Uh... Oh, here it is. is that... Oh no, that's the sickle. That's not the katana. Wait, is that the katana over there? Uh, hold on, I think it is, but I've really screwed this up. Uh... Oh god. Oh wait. I got in Monokuma. I think that's the only Monokuma. How do I do this again? Oh, like that. Oh god, where's the end of it? Oh, it's up here. Can I select it now? Oh. Can I select it now. There we go. What is that other thing? A stick? I see it. I don't know what that stick is, but I did it. That one's- I, I understand how it works, but- in the Kaede's effigy. Yes, I- I believe that. The culprit used that to hit the knob I believe that the too. lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because- Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. Okay, I'm with you. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather I'm easily. I'm unsure why that means it had to have happened last. Hmm, that evidence rings a bell. Specifically, <laughs> a school bell. Does it? Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was well, it? Well, have you played a game called Dinganrapa 1? Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? This is the part I'm not 100% sure about. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. Okay, because it was stabbed into the effigy. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigy's hung upside down. Right. Angie didn't do that as part no. of the ritual? No. 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 Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? Yes. A different purpose. What could that have been? To hit the door closed? The katana's about at the right height. The culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of that setup. Okay, how are we gonna do that? If I do that the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. Are we gonna are we gonna drive? We're gonna drive. Let's go, baby. How do I do this again? Oh like this. Let's drive. Oh, 
Oh god. Oops, I missed one. We. I like this one. It's kind of fun. Whoops. Oh god, is that another car? I think I'm finally seeing other cars for the first time. Oh god, I'm not gonna really get that one. Oh, that's a car. Whoa! Sorry, that was bad. I panicked a little. What? Uh... Whoops, that was definitely... Oh god. Alright, hang on. There's some over here. Okay. What turned the handle of the sliding lock is gonna be the... Whoa, what was that? I think I gotta drive faster. Are those letter boxes going away? Because I'm taking too long? Okay, what turns the handle of the sliding lock? That's gonna be the katana. Alright, thinking, thinking time. Oh god, don't make me run off the road. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna assume it was the katana. Because it has. Yay! Because it has the gold on it. Duh. Alright, moving on. Let's go. Come on, baby. We got places to be. Vroom, vroom, bitch. Alright, let's go. Alright, this is a longer boy. Right, we got a two lane highway now. It really feels like driving through the desert. Would be where it would suck to run into another car. <laughs> Alright, here comes one. Let's grab that. Oh, two. Surprise. Uh, okay, and we got something over here. Great. Alright, what was done to the katana to turn the lock? This is the part I'm not 100% sure yet. Beep beep. Oh, to make the katana turn the lock. Alright, we need one more, one more. Alright, got it. Alright, here we go. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom, bitch. Let's go. Alright, I'm not 100% sure. What's done to make the katana turn the lock? I'm gonna say it was stats, right? I don't think the lock was tampered with. Alright, good. Yeah, and then does the was the effigy turned to make sure that no one would leave their fingerprints on the lock? Because that's kind of what I was thinking. That's like the only reason I could think of that would make this work, right? I don't 100 percent know, but oh god, this is a long boy. Um, let's do this. See, this is the color scheme I like. Not saying that I don't like the other ones, but this one is, is great. Uh oh, combo, baby, combo. Come on, ladies. Ladies, are you impressed with my driving? You should be. Oh, yes. Okay, over here. Over here. I can't see what the billboards are. Oh, sh I missed one. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, it's the Angie picture where she's like the Buddha. Alright. Oh, oh, I missed that one, sorry. Maybe how was the effigy manipulated? What? Oh, I oh I finished, okay. I was like, um, excuse me. I went through that one. How was it? I'm gonna say it was turned somehow, right? Like, how is the effigy manipulated? That could mean a lot of things, so let's see what they give me. Spin it. Spinning it. I think spinning it would probably make the most sense. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm just not 100% sure how yet. But I'm assuming we're gonna we're gonna find that out together, you know? That's it. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy. 
was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Which again, just seems like a lot of work. Effigy. And also, spun? we are still saying that the culprit did this when earlier they were implying that it was weird that the culprit did this. Like if you if you spin it. That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Oh. I see now. Because that would make this door the last one closed, probably, if you, you know, if you, like, tie it. And then it'll spin on its own. Then, if you let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin I wasn't the other even way. thinking about it like that, but yes, that, and that of course, would work. the katana would spin with it. And then it would it gradually be low enough to hit the lock. Yeah. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. Are you saying and they left out through the that door, door of though? An empty classroom locked from the inside. I guess they'd have to. Maybe? I don't know. That door was locked yes, though, wasn't it? That's how Angie's lab was locked. Do we know that? I'm not sure that we know that. I'm gonna check that really fast though, because it was locked from inside when it was found. She locked herself since yesterday, so I'm thinking it was it was locked, right? Probably. By using the effigy with a katana. A plan born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. That's probably a reference. Oh, but could it have moved yes, the Yes, we did test that. The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. As long as the spinning katana hit the lock, it would have slid into position. Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Okay, so they didn't leave. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? I mean, I'm not not saying it. I didn't say that. But I thought it. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. That way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. This just seems like a lot of trouble. She did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. Yeah, you, you did say that, bro. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. But I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... Seriously? You fucking lied again? Cough it up, Kokichi! Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not okay. the <laughs> You're telling the truth this time, right? Let's stab him. I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. Cool. Why did you say you were the culprit? Because he's bored, probs. I wanted to lure the culprit out. Yeah, okay, that's really gonna work. If I claim to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? Not if they're even remotely intelligent. And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. All right, well, maybe discuss these things with me ahead of time, you know? <laughs> cool. You and your fucking lies. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Okay, I'll start right now. No, 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 don't do that. All right, so who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? You. 
I can't hold it up anymore. Lovely. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Guys, this is a this is a court of law. Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Don't you even understand something as Damn. basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Jesus, guys, come on. Cum dumpster! Jeez. Finally! Someone R finally called me a cum dumpster! <sighs> what should we talk about now? Anything but that, Gonta. Anything but that. But we'll figure out what we're going to talk about in the next episode. So great. We've already got one confession, proved it false, and talked about a really contrived way to lock this room, which I kind of figured out, but like not really. And I think that's going to be the trend for this entire case. Let's go. I'm ready. I hope you guys are too. I'll see you in the next one. See you then. Bye.